Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee, and I'm here at the American Association of Orthodontists meeting in Chicago. As many of you know, I have an interest in in-office clear aligners and producing my own in-office aligners. One of the questions that I'm most commonly asked from doctors is what materials to use. And there are some fantastic materials available on the market. The challenge is really finding out the different ways that we want to apply these because they all have unique properties. So I've invited Samir from Taglis today to join us. Taglis has released a new polyurethane material here at the AAO meeting, and I've invited him to discuss some of the properties with us. Many of you are familiar with the Taglis Premium material and the Taglis Tough material, but I really want to see more information about the new use of polyurethane and how we can apply this in the aligner space. So Samir, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you Dr. Shortley. Thank you for the introduction. Yes, we are very excited for the PU Flex uh, launch. It's, it's a great material. It took some time coming. It took three to four years to have this material. Again, polyurethane has a special place in the aligner category because what PETG can do, polyurethane can only do better. Okay. So just to help everyone who's watching today, your new tagless PU Flex is polyurethane. Yes. And the traditional tagless premium materials, these are made with PETG. PETG, that's Wonderful. correct. Wonderful. That's correct. Could you explain a little bit in the material properties between the different types of material? Absolutely. So we have three materials. The tagless premium is a PETG, which is good enough and has good memory for aligners because aligners needs good memory for it to give good results. The tagless stuff on the other end is also a PETG, but it's 18 times stronger in terms of resilience for it to last as a retainer in the mouth. Because if you want to have an aligner last for two weeks in the mouth, you want this to be last at least 18 times longer in the mouth. That's why this is a special and this is a patent pending material actually. We have applied for a patent and hopefully we should get it soon. This is a special material only for retainers. Okay. So it is great in the mouth. It's at a special thickness of 0.8 millimeter, unlike the 040. So this is 030. Okay. So and that's why it gives more comfort to a patient wearing a retainer. Perfect. So looking at tagless premium, you're at a 0.4 millimeters versus a 0.8 millimeters on retainers. Yes. So okay. over here is 040 as a retainer, but in tagless stuff is 030 as a retainer. Okay. Excellent. So if you could explain a little bit of the properties of PU Flex to us yeah. and how those compare with the PETG materials that many of us are familiar with. So as compared to PETG, the polyurethane, as it's known as uh, PU Flex, as the name suggests, it is much more flexible. So if you see, it's very easily flexible. It, In fact, as an aligner, instead of doing it in two weeks, so you can take this, you know, you really can go all out and do this and it can really pop out. It has great memory, great resilience. It can do a seven day aligner change instead of a two weeks aligner change with regular PETG. In terms of properties, in terms of elongation, like to be honest, we stretch this material to the height of five feet and it doesn't crack. You could elongate this material really long and it doesn't crack. So that's the special property of this. And in terms of aligner force, when you wear a flex aligner you will feel more comfortable versus you wearing a PETG aligner that's just the signs that PU flex has and it can give sustained forces to a longer period as compared to a PETG. So would it be correct to say that there's more elasticity to the Absolutely. material with a polyurethane Absolutely. than with a PETG? Absolutely. Now when we're working in the clear aligner space one of the factors that many of us are concerned of is the stain resistance. Yes. How would you look at the different types of materials? So this has very good stain resistance. PU Flex in general is bound to become slightly yellow with time. That's what polyurethane is usually. So we have added special antioxidants, special optical brightness for it to last longer and it to have more stain resistance as compared to other materials. Excellent. So in the seven day wear cycle, would you anticipate the patient noticing any discoloration of the material? In not seven at all. Days? Not at all. Absolutely nothing. Even, even for a retainer, you could wear this for six months and you would hardly notice any discoloration. And what thicknesses is the 
PU flex available in? So it's available in terms of millimeter is 0.45 millimeters, 0.76 millimeters and 1 millimeter. In terms of reference to the US part, it's 020, 030, 040. Excellent. One of the questions that I'm often asked by doctors is when looking at the materials themselves, there is a protective sheet yes. over them. So this is Can one you, of a kind, yes. Um, could you please explain to us when is the best time to remove the sheets and when should you vacuum form with them on and when should you vacuum form with them off? So you should always vacuum form with the protection layer because this is how it looks, you know, with and without. And the reason is, if you take this disc, which is a different shape, and if you are using it, you would start seeing smudge marks on this. Because, so that's what happens in an office. If someone's grinding an aligner without the protection foil, you know, polishing it and stuff like that, they would leave smudge marks. And it's very hard to clean them. So with the protection foil, if you thermoform, you would cut it, you would finish it, you would polish it. And then in the end, you can, you know, very easily just peel on one side, feel on the other side and then you will start seeing that it's like super transparent the whole thing and this is how it helps excellent wonderful if a doctor is looking to start with a new material in their office do you have any recommendations for them if they want an aligner material start with PU flex if you are looking at a retainer material start with tagless stuff that's our best selling across the world excellent Samir, thank you so much for joining us today and answering so many of the questions that I encounter on a day-to-day -day basis from clinicians for selecting materials for in-office aligners. Lots of wonderful information here at the American Association of Orthodontists meeting. If you'd like to find out more information, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AlignerBee. Thank you so much thank to you Samir. Thank you so much. It's been an honor. It's a thank you. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.